from billionaire David Tapper has signed a $2.3 billion deal for the Carolina Panthers, just a day after the Supreme Court clears the way for states to legalize sports betting. Joining us now is Joe Asher, the CEO of bookmaker William Hill U.S. Joe, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. Am I right in saying that that Supreme Court ruling raises the value of sports teams in America? Oh, you're totally right. I think Mark Cuban said the same thing shortly after the Supreme Court announcement about the values going up significantly. We said that the value of the Dallas Mavericks, which he owns, would double because of this ruling. Would you go that far? Well, I wouldn't pick a specific number on it, but clearly folks who bet on games are more engaged in games. And look, there's a massive black market today uh, that's on the cusp of being, uh, in some states at least, taken out of the shadows and moved into the sunlight. Now, you're, you're from Britain. I mean, you're an American, but you represent a British gaming company. And in Britain, do Premier League soccer teams, for example, do they get a piece of the betting action? Well, and this is an important point, Stuart. They, they don't get anything directly uh, that's sort of legislatively mandated like some sort of cut of the action. But what they do get is an amazing amount of engagement in their games. I mean, there is no more successful sports franchise in the world than the English Premier League. About half the teams have their uh, shirts sponsored by betting companies, and the bookmakers spend massive amounts of money promoting the game, which in turn leads to a lot higher engagement in the games and ultimately higher ratings and, and higher rights fees to the teams. Now, you've got a big operation in America, and you've expanded it dramatically, and I think you're going to keep on expanding it. Can you see the day coming when, for example, I go to see the New York uh, Giants play uh, over in New Jersey, and I take with me my little iPad, and I can place bets on the game as the game proceeds through your company as I'm sitting watching the game. Can you see that coming? Well, we certainly hope so. You see that today in Nevada today, and maybe folks aren't using an iPad, but they're using their iPhone. The Golden Knights are the hottest thing in Vegas these days. You go to the T-Mobile Arena to watch the Vegas Golden Knights play, mm -hmm. and you'll see people on their phones betting during the games. You see it at UNLV basketball. So there's no doubt that you're going to be able to go across the river uh, at some point in the not too distant future and bet during the game, before the game, and, and uh, you know, and so and now you instead of doing this. it, you well, just love this. Well, now instead of doing it with your illegal bookie, though, right. you're going to be doing it in a legal, regulated market where tax revenue is going to be generated for the uh, for the state of New Jersey. Now, is it possible when states write the rules for sports betting in their states that they will say that the teams on which you bet get a piece of the action directly? Is that possible? Well, certainly the leagues are pushing for that. Uh, they've not been successful to date, uh, but. Yeah, that is something they're pushing for. We obviously think that it's the wrong thing to do because, again, there is no more successful sports league than the English Premier League, and you don't see that. And so it's important to have a healthy ecosystem, a healthy tax policy, and those are sort of the key things that we're looking for in legislation. All right, Joe Asher, we thank you very much for joining us, sir, and good luck with your venture in America. Good stuff. Great being here. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. All right, special guest.